Welcome everyone to our how-to on smart shopping. It's going to be a Q&A format that is going to give you best tips and practices for smart shopping. So Alicia is going to answer a couple questions. First one, Alicia, how can I best prepare myself before heading to the grocery store? Well, it's always great to first make a plan. Uh, so you want to create a list of maybe some meal options that you would like to purchase. And you can even check store ads that might have some options that would be great for you to help uh, prepare some meals. And also you can even check like your stores, um, the ads for coupons, but also check the apps for coupons as well, because that's going to help save you money in the long run. It's going to be a lot better because then you know you're getting some really good deals. Um, and then also don't go hungry. Make sure you eat a snack beforehand. That's going to help you to decrease what the extra things that you buy that aren't on your list. Very good. What are some best practices to follow when I go to the grocery store? Sure, so items that you typically always buy, just go ahead and look for specials on those. And if they're on sale, even if you have a little bit left at home, go ahead and buy them. Uh, again, that's gonna help save you in the long run. Also, um, biggest thing is to shop the perimeter of the store. Stores will uh, place like your essentials on the outside or of the, the perimeter. Also, you know, like your, your uh, milk, eggs, all your dairy products, uh, those are gonna be on the outside. All of your produce, um, the fresh produce is gonna be on the outside as well on the perimeter. Um, and then also, speaking of produce and um, your veggies and fruits, go ahead and um, compare your fresh to your frozen and canned, because a lot of times your fresh um, fruits may be out of season or fresh veggies might be out of season. Um, and so a canned or frozen option is still going to be more beneficial for you. And then go ahead and look in the aisles for your whole grain pastas, your whole grain cereals. Uh, take note that um, stores will intentionally place foods um, that may not be the best suited for you on the end caps. And then also, uh, best a little uh, tip is that they will place um, sugary breakfast cereals in the eyesight of children. Um, so mm -hmm. either keep your kids at home or uh, <laughs> don't take them down that aisle. <laughs> Um, as far as leftovers are go, um, what are some ways I can create something healthy and different so that I'm not eating the same thing every time? Sure, so uh, it's great to experiment, right? So if we don't want to eat, continue to eat the same thing day in, day out throughout the week. Um, that's going to tend for us to be like, you know what, I don't want to eat that burger at home. I'm just going to stop and get um, some type of fast food. But so I have a couple options here, actually. If you have maybe leftover burgers and corn on the cob, you can create some chili. Sounds like a good option. If you have some leftover mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes, you can use those instead of um, your cream to make a creamier soup base. And another option is um, leftover fish or chicken. You can shred it on and put it on your salad. That's a great idea. I like that. Well, these were some great tips that Alicia had to offer for smart shopping. If you have any questions, just stop by the center and feel free to ask us.